Welcome to the Global Business Insights Podcast, brought to you by PSL. I'm your host, Max Kent, and I'll be joined by my co-host, Dr. Charlotte de Brabant. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Global Business Insights Podcast the show where we explore the future of various industries. And today we will be diving into the world of sales and how it's evolutionizing in terms of becoming a lot more personal nowadays. And as we say, sales is the most, I would say, relevant profession when it comes to procurement and negotiations. And it's all very much in in the same basket. So sales as we know it, might be changing, but personal relationships, I think, are the way forward. So today, we have a very dear friend joining us all the way from Boston, Casey. Welcome, Casey. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Max, for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. And you, I've known you now for a good while. And you're truly an inspirational leader when it really comes to explaining the importance of these personal relationships. So let's start by setting the stage. And how is the concept of sales changing in the digital age? And why is it important, in your opinion, um, looking at personal relationships? Well, as you know, technology and automation have become significantly impacted sales process. As more task becomes automated, people now crave genuine human connection. Salespeople need to adapt and focus on building meaningful relationships to stand out in the digital era. Thanks, Casey. And um, as Charlotte said, it's uh, really delighted to have you on the podcast today. Um, Coming from your background um, with Ferrari Boston, obviously I've I've been in sales, uh, professional sales in B two B environments for a long time as well. That's obviously a different, um, a completely different type of sale to the one you're in. Um, so I'm really keen to learn more about you know how in this sort of evolving landscape, how in your in your opinion, how sales professionals can leverage the data and the technology they're working with to sort of enhance that personalization with the interaction interactions with the customers. I imagine that you work with very sort of um, personal customers, you probably come back and see you again and again. Um, so how does the sort of data and technology and, and that aspect help you in your role? Fantastic question, Max. Uh, be quite frank with you, technology and data is very powerful tools in building personal relationships. Okay. Sales team can use customer data realistically to understand their needs and preference better tailoring their approaches and messages accordingly. This personalization fosters trust and connection. Fantastic. And Casey, how do you see AI and machine learning playing a role in sales and personalization in the future? Well, they are they are set to revolutionize sales. They can help sales professionals predict customers' behavior, automate routine tasks, and provide valuable insights. However, the key is to use these tools to augment personal relationships, not replace them. Fantastic. So kind of moving on from that, so in the future, what sort of skills do you think sales professionals will need to nurture and develop to continue building those personal relationships with clients? You know, given the fact that we are talking about the digital aspects of that, but we still need to link it to that human connection. My opinion, empathy, communication, adaptability will be essential skills, Max. Sales professionals must actively listen to their clients, understand their unique needs and adapt their approach to meet those needs properly. And emotional intelligence will be crucial. That's really interesting. And and what role does trust play in building these personal relationships with the customers? And how can, I would say, salespeople cultivate trust in the digital age? Well, trust is the foundation of any lasting relationship. And it's no different in sales. 
building trust requires consistency, transparency, and delivering on promises in the digital age. Showcasing show social proof, testimonial, and a, a strong online presence can also boost the trust. Fantastic. Thanks, Casey. Um, are you able to share any examples of companies or industries that you've seen embrace this kind of shift in the sales approach and maybe any examples um, from from the companies you've worked with or, or had experience with? Well, that's interesting for sure. Uh, one great example would be the company that I've been involved with, which is Ferrari itself. They have incorporated personalization into their sales strategy by utilizing all driven insights to anticipate customers' needs and preference. This approach has led to deeper connection and increased customer loyalty for us. Excellent. And with so much empathy and personalization, are there any potential challenges or risks I would say that, that sales professionals should be aware of in the whole evolutionizing landscape? Absolutely. Absolutely. While personalization is the key overstepping boundaries or invading a customer's privacy can be determined. Sales professionals must strike a balance and respect their customer's privacy and preference. There's also a challenge of staying authentic and not appearing too script or robotic in their skills. Okay, just moving on from that, then, um, how are you seeing your, um, your company and some of the sales teams you work with measure that success in terms of their efforts in building personal relationships with customers? Because that's quite qualitative, isn't it? It's not like you've got the data sort of standard sales data will show you, you know, how sales are doing, but personal relationships are a lot more um, nuanced, aren't they? So how do, you, how do you measure that within your own business? Well, perhaps success can be measured through various met met metrics such as customer satisfaction, loyalty, repeat business, also tracking the number of personal interaction and the quality of those interaction can provide insight into effectiveness of personalization strategy. Fantastic. And Casey, with all your um, previous roles and, and responsibilities, what advice would you give to aspiring sales professionals looking to very much thrive in this future landscape of personal relationships? My advice would be focus on continuous learning and definitely self-improvement. Embrace technology, but never lose sight of the human aspect. Always strive to understand and meet your customers' needs and build the trust through authenticity and empathy. Thanks, Casey. And just just finally, I think coming to our last question, what's your vision um, then for the future of sales, just in terms of how personal relationships will continue to evolve in the coming years and drive those sales efforts? I think I'm going to make that short and sweet human connection. Sales professionals will be use technology to support their efforts, but the core of their success will be ability to build trust, understand their customers deeply, and deliver tailored solution. It's an exciting future and those who embrace it, it will thrive. Wow, thank you, Casey, for, for sharing very much all, all your insights to the future of sales and, and building these professional relationships. And it's been a great pleasure to have you on the show, especially learning from such a great company such as Ferrari, how, how I would say personal relationships very much matter uh, going forward. And that's, I think, in, in every situation of our life, good communication. And um, yeah, th so thank you for this, uh, for, for all your insights today. Thank you for having me, Charlotte and Max. It's been a great conversation. I appreciate it. My, you guys uh, let me join you on this.
Absolutely. You know, it's a pleasure having you on. And um, it's uh, a lot of our podcasts have been focused on sort of digital automation and procurement and technology. So it's been great to have a true sales professional join us and and give insight on some of the more human aspects around the future of technology and how that's going to drive sales. So it's been a real pleasure to have you on. And thank you once again. Thanks to our dear listeners for joining us, as always. Stay tuned for more discussions on the future of various industries. So if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a five-star review as that really helps. And um, until next time, we'll see you again. Thanks once again, Casey and Charlotte. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Cheers.